fear is generalized easy. So one of the most important things that dogs do is eat. Because okay. if they don't, they die. So okay. it's cellular DNA, like, hey, I'm eating. And if they're stressed, that kicks in. So um, that's why we're, you know, really, uh, you know, consistent with things like this. See, my hand predicts food coming in. So when I take that away and I bring it back in, she gets reinforced for okay. it. One of the issues that people run into with puppies is that because they're little and they're so malleable and they don't have a lot of history, they think, oh, well, I can do all this stuff to them. Sure. But what happens is, you know, if you take this away too many times without giving them some reinforcement, what can happen is they can start to have stress and then they growl. We actually like the growl. Okay. What the growl is, is a protracted warning sign. So the growl lets us know the dog's uncomfortable. Okay. In this case, I mean, if the dog's tugging on a rope and they're growling, they're having fun, that growl right. means they're having fun. But in the case where your dog is sort of hunkered over a bully stick and growling, you know, they're fearful that it's going to be taken because there's been no reinforcement for it being taken. If you ever encounter her growling because mm -hmm. she's afraid, get super happy and back up. Okay. Unless she's got something that's completely dangerous and all bets are off and you just got to get it. Okay. And if she has an ink pen, get it. Yeah, right. But in the case of something like this, where you're like, okay, well, I need to take it back now because we're going to go for a walk, you should come in so your hands predict food and give her the treat and then take it away and then give it back, okay. right? Or take it away if you're done chewing for a while, sure. right? Okay. But, you know, and you don't want to do the trades for the bully stick or the work to eat toys to the point of annoyance. Okay. So I usually say, like, if your dog or your puppy has their work to eat toy for 10 minutes, maybe do three. Like okay. every three minutes or so, sure. okay. right? And again, I'm not giving her a bucket of food. I'm giving her literally like a crumb because she's little, right? But again, it really does provide reinforcement and they make, um, you know, the dog have a really great association of hands coming in when they have valued objects. So when I come in and I give her a little tiny piece of that and then I take this away, right? I prevent her from having a negative association of my hands, my approach, and that being taken. Okay.